What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Dark Horse Sports Cards, here with Brody for another fun rip. We are getting into now the Target version of the Mega Boxes. We've already ripped the Walmarts. If you did not see that video, go definitely check it out. We actually got pretty, pretty good luck, I would say. Didn't hit anything too crazy, but pulling a couple Wimbies never is something that we're going to be upset about. But we're still after some autographs. We have not hit autographs yet. We've opened three blasters. We've opened two mega boxes. Today, we're going to be opening these two mega boxes from Target. They're almost the same product. I almost would say they are the same product. I don't think we're even going to see a different, um, a different parallel. It looks like we're still also going to... Oh, this one's blue. Okay, maybe I lied, maybe. Blue and green, what's this? Is it the same? Yeah, so this is blue and green. This is green, red and green. So that's gonna be the only difference. We might hit a blue and green. So if you're a, if you're a fan of Christmas colors, definitely check out the ones from Walmart. If you're a fan of blue and green, the heck is blue and green? I don't think I know anything that's blue and green. This, the Earth. If you're if you're a fan of Earth, then uh, geez, that is that doesn't want to go back in. If you're a fan of Earth, then uh, the Target ones might be more your style. But here we are. We've got ten packs, fifteen cards in each pack. We're gonna try to do our best to rip through these as fast as we can for you guys, because it is a lot. It's three hundred cards, so it's a lot of cards. Twenty packs in total. Each of these are roughly around 50 to $45, somewhere in that range. They're starting to pop up on a lot of shelves as well. And we find ourselves with a Brandon Miller to start it off. And if you're new to the channel, whoop, whoop, sorry. If you're new to the channel, there's the green. So yeah, so the green is gonna be the same. It's just those random ones that you might see every once in a while. We hit one of them, I believe, in the last two mega boxes. So it's not even a given that you're gonna actually hit one per mega box. But if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers. We are closing in. We do appreciate all your guys' support. Also, if you want to like the video as well, hey, there he is. Hello, sir. I mean, it doesn't, it never gets old seeing this guy. But yes, liking the video, super free. It's as free as it can be, honestly. So you might as well like the video before YouTube makes it to where it actually costs money to like the video. I don't know if they would ever do that, but. All right, Victor already off the rip. Always a good sign. Jay Sean DeRoot, no, it's Jay Sean Tate. And then we have a LaMelo Ball Bomb Squad. That's a first, that's a cool looking card. I love the Bomb Squads. And still nothing on the back of the pack, but I am still gonna look because I am a psycho. All right, Patrick Beverly. And I thought we did it again, the black, man, City. City's gonna cause a lot of problems for people. I feel bad, I always wonder what it'd be like to be a player that, you know, you're good. You're in the NBA. You're obviously very good. And every, there's a Yao Ming. Uh, every time someone sees your card, they just, they're just pissed. I would love to one day interview some of these players and ask them that question of like, what does it feel like to know that every time someone sees your card, they just are so pissed. Like nothing, nothing uh, could let them down anymore. Jalen Pickett, DeAndre Hunter on the green, and a Jimmy Butler. Ooh, all right, this is the blue. This is numbered to 35. Wow, the blue and green, Jimmy Butler. Franchise favorite, all right. Numbered to 35. That is a sweet looking card, I must say. That is a sweet go Earth. Team Earth right there. Jimmy Butler. Look at it just shining in the back. Very nice. And a bunch of base. Okay. So that is, uh, I don't know if they're all going to be numbered to 35. Is that what they, it says here? Yeah. Hollow blue. 
Hollow blue, green laser, number to 35. Okay, so there is actually a decent amount. I probably should have showed you guys this. Apologies. There actually is a decent amount. So in the, um, this is the target version. You're going to get the blue, the base hollow blue and green lasers number to 35. And then here you can get the base hollow red and green to 75 and teal laser to 25. So there is going to be some difference there between those two products. So that'll, that'll make it a little bit more enjoyable. Kind of you're, you're going to be able to rip some stuff with lower numbers in one, but the other one, there's more potential of hitting a number maybe because there's, there's more, more of them, I guess, is the best way of saying that. We have a Derek Whitehead who also is going to have the colors of Wimby. And so people are not going to be happy with him. Jalen Brown on the green and a Devin Booker. That's a sick card. I like the orange on that a lot. That looks really cool. And still all base. Zion in the back. All right. No Mims. And you know what? I actually kind of appreciate that. They decide not to just like put random jerseys that have never been touched by the player or worn or spit on or even the players never even seen the jersey. They decide not to do that. I will say some of those MIM cards look cool, but that you could make those cards without just a piece of jersey in there. Our first Jason Tatum siding on the complete. Well, you want one Jason, I'll give you two Jasons. There's another one. No downtowns in these. So the big chase with the autographs uh, not being the greatest list of players. You know, the big rookies, none of them did any autos with Panini. So the big chase is obviously going to be your rookies on some of these parallels. I mean, I bet a Victor on this blue and green is probably wild. I don't even want to know how much that's going for. Because just his base card alone, I think, is like 25, 30. All right. RJ Barrett. We're going to get to Cam Whitmore. There we go. Cam Whitmore. Case and Wallace, nice. Grant Williams on the green. And another Joker. Lots of Jokers. He's got a lot of cards in this set. A lot of cards. All right, we are down to our final two pack in the first box. We have one Wimby sighting, one numbered card. Other than that, pretty much same old, same old. Anthony Black. There's our rookie green. Not numbered. And a Bilal. I, I tried this time, guys. Bilal. Great expectations. Still nothing on the back. I almost would... Maybe they put the cards in the middle to try to... Are they doing that to protect them more? Or you're not getting like spoiled by seeing the final card here? I, I don't know. What do you guys... Where do you think the best place to put the hits of a pack are? dead in the middle like this Ooh, we get another green rookie bryce sensible i think that's the second one we've got of him and a jalen hood on the great expectations i like it i like it when it's like put one rookie or sorry one one uh base card in the very back maybe it could protect, protect it a little bit i guess and also can keep people from these packs, I don't think, or these boxes, you don't have to worry about that. But some of the value packs and stuff, I've seen people like try to hold those up to the light to see if there's like a kid reporter or something in the back. Um, but I like I like all the hits in the back. I don't I don't really like having some of these hits in the middle of the packs. Not a, not as big of a fan. I like getting I like ripping through all the base and then just having the hits left. I mean, I guess you, if you really wanted to, you could do like one, two, three, four. See, that's, that's just too hard. I'm not, yeah, that plan backfired. I'm not doing that. I guess that's what you could do. I guess you would flip it over and then do it that way, right? Shuffle them out if you want to get real crazy. If you wanted to end with the rookies. 
All right, Marcus Sasser, a Jordan Hawkins. That's a good pull. First Jordan Hawkins we've seen in a while. Tim Hardaway Jr., a Giannis on the bomb, and there's a Joel L. Embiid. All right, let's keep pushing. And if you're wondering where Kelsey is, why is she not ripping? Um, I might be able to convince her to rip basketball every once in a while. Magic Johnson, bomb squad. Look at that. Wow, throwback. But she really just loves football. She that's that's the one sport that she's big into. I'll ask her. I'll ask her though. What would be her second favorite rip? If she couldn't rip football, what would be her second choice? I don't know if it would be basketball. I actually don't know what the answer would be. Grady Dick. Jalen Williams and a Ja Morant on the did I sneak an extra card there or did it look oh it just looks it kind of looks like there's an extra card with this line at the bottom all right also maybe maybe a little too many cards I think I think they could have gotten away with maybe just not even putting those five cards in the back and just having 10 cards I don't know what the reasoning is for them to have this many cards in the set. There's a cool Steph Curry on the Magician. First cool Steph Curry card we've seen. And a bunch of base. Okay. It would be this box though that they sneak they sneak an auto in the last those last six cards. I'm calling it. Auto, last six cards. Buddy held. Healed. Excuse me. Sorry. Damian Lillard. And base. All right. Come on. It's been a while since we've pulled a Victor. I want to say it's been almost like, was the Victor in the first or second pack? It was very early on. So it's been a very long time since we've seen a Victor. I think it's time for him to show his face once again. Love this guy's hair. Keontae Johnson. Like, let's see a victor on one of the greens, shall we? Show me a victor on one of the greens. Kaysen Wallace. That's a nice hit. Nice hit on the Great Expectations. Cool looking card. I'm a fan. I am a fan. All right. Fly through that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that. Caught it. That could have been really bad. The amount of base cards flying all over. We're going to keep this pile going because I think it is impressive. We're going to have like over 200 cards in that pile. My table is just a little too... It's, it's one of those four stands. Like, um, it's just got... There's no base. It doesn't have a solid base. And so every little movement jolts it around. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's a sick name. Rau, Rayu. And we continue on looking for more Wimbies. We only have three packs left, folks. Three packs from these so far. I would say that the Walmart Mega Boxes definitely performed better, but that's just simply because we pulled more Wimbies, right? Which is just the luck of the draw. I think you can, I, I don't think there's much difference between the two when it comes to uh, value. I think it just comes down to uh, what you're chasing after. Are you chasing after the green and blues or are you chasing after the red and greens? Because I'm chasing after the autos. I love pulling autos. Love pulling autos. Nothing would bring me more pleasure than pulling an auto right now. Auto. It, needs, it just needs to have that little line right here. But this is a good hit. Especially if it's, uh, I was going to say, especially if it was uh, numbered there. But we'll take that. With one pack still in the holster here. 
put him under our Steph Curry. And we'll continue on. Another Thompson twin, brother, twin. Do twins like being called twins or do they like being called brothers? I don't even know if they care. All right, final pack. If you made it this far, thank you guys so much. Appreciate all the support. Really, uh, if you guys enjoy the basketball content, because I think right now we're heavy football, like the majority of the people that watch these videos, heavy football. So if you enjoy the basketball content, let us know. The easiest way by doing that is by dropping a like on this video and leaving us a comment. And we will do, surely do more. Surely? Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Do more basketball content in the upcoming weeks, I'm sure. Okay, last chance. It is a rookie. We'll save it. We'll save it. Mm hmm. Should be our insert coming up now. Our insert is going to be Paul George. And here we go. It is a rookie, number 218. Ryan Rupert is who we're going to finish with here. Mr. Rupert, one of the greatest contestants on Survivor history. All right, Magicians, Stephen Curry, a couple cool other cards as well. We did get a pull, one victor, and we did get to see what the blue and green out of 35 Jimmy Butler out of 35. All right. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.